Welcome back to Blue Max 6. I recorded this flight coming out of the Honda Jet Service Center in Des Moines, Iowa. A stunning sunset as I fly into a wall of darkness crossing Lake Michigan. Stay to the end as I try to find the runway and shoot the non-precision approach in the dark into Harbor Springs 4200 foot runway. As we get a little bit better at this YouTube process, please keep your comments coming. They're incredibly helpful and to be honest, make the process worthwhile. So far, I've been able to respond to all of them. Right now, it's taking us an average of about three weeks to get a flight edited and posted, so there's a lag as we try out your recommendations. If you're looking for more up-to-date content or comments, please follow along on our Instagram at Bluemax6. It's been great to hear from a few other military aviators and attack pilots, so thank you all so much for reaching out. This night flying should feel really familiar and make you remember a lot of late nights and early mornings on the flight line. Thank you to the crew chiefs who have also reached out. I am still incredibly humbled by your commitment to let me fly your aircraft and keeping them flying under the most incredible conditions. Pretty soon I'll start focusing in on the real intent of this channel and it's to provide support to the wounded warriors as I fly for an organization called Veterans Airlift Command. But tonight, it's just me. So hop in and fly along. My name is Tim. This is our Honda Jet. Welcome to Blue Max 6. Clear for the number two side. Let's get our utilities timer. And start on number two. Got a starter light. Ignition. And one's on the rise. Point, now we're here with Got November. fuel flow. Oil in there. Uh, Cherokee 297 for November, holding short, 1-3, ready for takeoff. Yeah, I got a start and drop out. Roger, Roger, hold short of 1-3, ready for takeoff. Wind airport information, X-ray 2154, Zulu weather. Wind 160, Niner, visibility 10, few cuts 20,000, 25,000 scattered, 30,000 overcast. Temperature 25, 2.8, altimeter 300, Niner. Visual approaching use, landing and departing runway 13. Notice to airmen, runway 523 is closed. Pilot use caution for birds in the vicinity of Des Moines Airport. Advise on initial contact, you have ATIS X-ray. Got information X-ray. Two Tango Mike, send it. On the 682 Tango Mike, clear to Mike Gulf November Airport via Des Moines 1 departure, then as filed, maintain the 5,000. Departure frequency 123.9 or squawk 2451. Two Tango Mike, copy is clear to Gulf, uh, Mike Gulf November via Des Moines 1 as filed up to 5000, 123.9 or 2451 on the squawk for Two Tango Mike. On the Two Tango Mike, read back correct data, X ray is current, expect runway 1. Ground, good evening, Honda Jet 682 Tango Mike. Uh, I'm at the Des Moines Flying Service ramp with X-Ray. Ready to taxi. Honda 682, Tingle Mike, Des Moines Ground, runway 13, taxi via Papa, hold short of runway 13. Uh, Papa, hold short of 13 for 2 Tingle Mike. Okay. Parking brakes released. Brake check. I'm going to do a uh, city 639 taxi check. via Delta at government district 2. Those wheel steering, flight instruments are corresponding. Last video, my first video, my first, the last video was my first video, but not, it will not be my last. Got a few more to, flights that I'm working on right now, but again, getting camera settings just right, still haven't figured out how to get the G3000 screens to quit from 
flickering or fading, but uh, I've been asking a couple of other people that have been doing this a while. But uh, when I take off, I go through a flow, right? You learn, you learn the, the, the cockpit flow because things are happening pretty quickly, and then you go back and you back it up with a checklist afterwards. But that's why I've got electronic checklists that I have up here. But I... Uh, Tower Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike, holding short 1-3. Honda 682, Tango Mike, 1-2, Rudder. Yeah, so Honda they... 2, Tango Mike, wind 1507, fly runway heading, runway 13, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway heading, runway 13, 682, Tango Mike. They were clear left, right, and above. Got takeoff power selected and achieved. Airspeed's alive, both sides. Here's my 80 knot cross check. V1, rotate. Positive rate, gear up through 130, flaps up. Power to max continuous thrust. Yaw damps engaged. Flight level change select. On the two tango mic on Parker. Two tango mic switching, thanks. Departure, Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike is uh, 2000 uh, runway heading. Number 682 Tango Mike, to my departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 10,000. Up to runway uh, 10,000 for 2 Tango Mike. On is that 2 Tango Mike, clear direct Newton. Direct Newton, 2 Tango Mike. On to that 2 Tango Mike, contact Chicago Center 132.8. 32.8 for 2 Tango Mike, see ya. 779, contact the point approach, 123.9er. 239, 779, good day. Chicago, good evening, Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike is 8.6, climbing 1010,000, direct Newton. Or 682, Tango Mike, Chicago Center, welcome, climb and maintain level 230. Up to 230 for 2 Tango Mike. Pressurization's coming up. Next we'll get altimeters in transition. All right, through 10,000, we're actually coming up on 15. I'll put the autopilot on. I do like hand flying. To at least 10,000, just to get a feeling of the jet. 500 feet AGL is where you can engage the autopilot. Um, you would never understand that the, that the rigging so one of the things I had to work on here was uh, was that rigging to see um, to see what we need to do from a roll term perspective, and it looks like we still got some work to do. Okay, we're through transition altitude. So I talked a little bit about like, like to fly pitch attitude. So Papa Golf contact point approach one two. You got the takeoff go around, but basically sets 15, 15 nine, degrees nine, of Papa pitch Gold. attitude for takeoff. I fly that. Six eight two Tango Mike contact Chicago Center one two eight point five two. Twenty eight fifty two for two Tango Mike. Thank you. Yeah. For November one five seven Whiskey Hotel Chicago Center set to maintain about three two zero. And continuing down to three two zero Whiskey Hotel. Center, good evening. Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike, 20.5, climbing 230, direct. Newton. November 682, Tango Mike, Chicago Center, climb and maintain level 310. Up to 310 for two Tango Mike. Yeah, so I 
fly a pitch attitude of 15 degrees. 3196, contact Chicago. 10,000 degrees. And again, what I'm looking at is the angle of attack indicator. You can see it on both PFDs. And uh, and then at 10,000 feet, I pitch to 10. So above 10,000 feet, I lose my speed restrictions of 250 knots in a Class B or 200 knots in a Class C. And then uh, when I hit when I get the flight levels, I pitch to about seven degrees nose up. And then uh, that gives us a good, you know, keeps our speed up, good ready to climb. Southbound 42, Chicago Center climb. A lot of folks use flight level change. Yeah. Yeah, that'll hold a fixed speed. I mean, right right now we're doing almost, you know, one Romeo Charlie cross 200 knots. Uh, 200 knots uh, indicated. But I'm climbing at over 2,000 feet per minute. So. Um, I like to set flight level change on the climb out just in case uh, we need it for uh, single engine operations. It's it's really good to have. The other time I really like to use flight level changes. We practice this uh, in the type rating is if you, if you have to do an emergency descent, right? You can set the speed at max speed flight level change, so you're getting that emergency descent, and the aircraft's. Uh, maintaining itself inside its speed envelope. For two tango mic climb, maintain about three two zero. Up to three two zero for two tango mic. For two tango mic contact Chicago Center one two five point two two. 25-22 for two tango mics. See you, sir. Chicago Center, good evening. Honda Jet 682, tango mic, flight level 290, climbing 320. Number 682, tango mic, Chicago Center. Welcome, climb and maintain, flight level 430. I'll go up to 430 for two tango mic. Hey, all I know is that pitch trim has not kicked off yet, so that's good. Yeah, for whatever reason, I was having a problem with pitch trim fail. It started out pretty subtle, but something I could pretty I could clear by cycling the uh, the pitch trim switch from normal to standby and back to normal, and then um, and then sometimes it won't clear. When pitch trim fails, you lose autopilot. Right. So right now I'm in RVSM airspace, twenty nine thousand to forty one thousand. Autopilot's required. Autopilot also required when you're flying a jet single pilot. So the last time, I'd gone into maintenance down at the Honda Jet factory, and they replaced the pitch trim servos, and um, I had a fail again. I'm going to Harbor Springs. And uh, so at that point, I called the aircraft AOG, aircraft on ground. And uh, Honda was pretty quick about getting a pilot out to me Flew the jet to Des Moines, to the Honda Jet Service Center in Des Moines. That was the closest one. And they also have, like I said, uh, a lot of really good experienced um, maintenance people there on the Honda Jet. And so um, they replaced pitch trim switches uh, and some other components. So really, we've looked at every Skybiz 183 contact Chicago Center part of the, of the pitch trim, pitch trim system. Skybiz 183. So. Um, the interesting thing, I talked I talked before about uh, turbine aircraft logistics. Uh, it's an outfit out of Florida. They manage a fleet of Honda jets, including mine, and um, are you know very. They're both you know certified uh, AMP, certified on the Honda jet. Um, some of them are type rated in the Honda jet, and uh, and uh, instructors very good. I used one of them to, as a mentor pilot. I was getting my mentor pilot time. Anyway, um, that, that particular person was back doing their currency recurrent training at Flight Safety in Greensboro and was in the simulator and said, hey, I want to test out what are all the different things that could cause pitch trim to fail. That was really interesting. And um, he also talked to another pilot uh, who was uh, who, uh, who, was, who was there? So this is serial number. This is serial number 23. So this is a pretty early Honda jet. He was talking to another pilot there that had experience on serial number 19, where they had had the same thing—a pitch trim issue—and they had found uh, ultimately they had found that it was a 
there's a splice in the wiring bundle that goes into the pitch trim system. And I don't know the name of the specific component, but um, and that's where they found the problem. So that information got passed along to the folks at Des Moines. They checked those parts of the aircraft, uh, could not find any issues uh, in those splices. And so we think uh, hopefully we have it solved, but this is a bit of a test flight. And so one, yeah, of, the, one of the things that they did at Des Moines was to work on the, they thought it might be the flaps. And so they were working on that. United 2262, clear direct, oh, Northbrook. Yeah. Nice. Check Northbrook, United 22. Nice view being on top, coming through 38,000 feet. Um, yeah, so. Uh, Over 7 Tango Whiskey, contact Chicago Center, 118. I was just talking to them, and they said, yeah, this is the first time we've really done this. For seven a lot of engineering, a lot of talk back and forth to the factory. And it's a little bit better. It, it is, but there's still a, a right roll tendency. We're going to have to we're gonna have to figure out a little bit more about what's causing that. Thousand feet to go, one to go. It is beautiful up here. Okay, there's five hundred feet to go. All right, so two hundred feet. If you watch, we'll see the altitude select will start to capture here in a second. Basically what it does, it takes over. There we go, altitude select is taking over. Center, one, two, six, so we're starting now to control the pitch. Two, six, to six, level seven. us exactly at the flight level two, 430. Six. And then it goes into altitude mode. And once that comes on solid, there, we've captured our altitude. and Now it's just fine tuning. So this is where the speed ten, picks up. Maintain level 330. For those who are not pilots, we really we have three kinds of speed. Um, so we have indicated airspeed, right? So right now I'm at Mach 0.576. That's kind of a climb because we just leveled off. My airspeed is showing 159 knots indicated. My true airspeed is 330 knots, and my ground speed is 361. So when ATC asks for your speed or gives you a speed, it's on indi indicated. Max true airspeed for this jet is 422. You really see that around flight level 340 to 360. So I'm getting good winds up here. Certainly burning a lot less fuel. But I, I could definitely go faster if I wanted to burn more gas at the lower flight levels. Okay, well, we're level at four, flight level 430, uh, uneventful so far. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the cameras off, and I'll see you on the approach into beautiful Harbor Springs. All right, uh, JetBlue 448. All right, I just got pilot's discretion. We're not even over Lake Thank Michigan you. yet, if you can see up here. Uh, uh, I wish I was good like Steve-O. Figure out how to show a live picture of um, Cargo, hello, Terry, two four two a four flight. But I haven't got I haven't gotten here. We'll get there. But uh, I got pilot's discretion down to uh, two uh, nine or zero. So I think I'll uh, I'll take it easy on that one. United nine zero nine, uh, climb and maintain flight level three nine or zero. Climb to flight level three nine or zero. United we'll nine zero nine. Eight hundred feet per minute. Region forty eight zero two. You were checking on a thirty six. Uh, yes, ma'am. Three six zero. Very good. Welcome in. I'm kind of thinking, hey, don't start taking me down until I'm across Lake Michigan. But it is absolutely beautiful. Took a couple of pictures of the Golden Hour. United nine zero nine cleared direct. Yankee Victor. You can Victor definitely Oscar. see that we're heading into the dark. Direct Yankee Victor Oscar. As we head east. Nine zero nine. Um, you know, we're pretty far north, and Michigan is on the extreme western edge of the eastern time zone. So uh, you usually get, you know, especially in the summertime, you just get you know, full sunlight at 10 o'clock, 10.30 at night. Air France, 123, contact uh, Chicago Center, 126.12. Closer to winter. It starts getting dark. 126.12, Air France, 150, bye. Hopefully we'll be able to catch a little bit Chicago of the fall Center, color as we're radio tech. Triple four four eight. This is a five by five. How about me? 
Uh, now I hear you well. I think it was uh, one of our mics that was bad earlier. Thanks. Yes, it was sounded like you were your own stuff mic. All right, thanks. Number two Tango Mike, the direct destination airport. Hey, direct destination for two Tango Mike. All right, direct Chicago, to United 2480, flight level 330. United 2480, Chicago Center, welcome in. Okay, I've got destination. Number two Tango Mike, just under your discretion to maintain flight level 250. Discretion to 250 for two Tango Mike. United 909, contact Minneapolis Center 132.42. 132.42, United 909, good night. Alaska 792, traffic 11 o'clock, 20 miles from the east, 35 and a 77. Roger, send checklist. Landing field elevation is set. Engine anti ice. And altimeter is in transition. So, one of the things that uh, is unique about the aircraft is it's a very smart aircraft. Cable. Uh, the, the, the Garmin G3000, which is just a fantastic system, is unique to each of the aircraft that it's. Um, installed. So the, the G3000 in the Honda jet is very different than the G3000 in Citation United Max's 2275, jet. 2275, do you want to keep I, the route? Um, very tied into all the systems here. Back. Looks like you got to keep uh, the route. But I don't, I don't turn lights on. It recognizes ambient light. It recognizes the time of day. It, it knows where we are. knows when to bring lights up. I can go in there and manually uh, take care of those. You know, one of the things that's pretty cool is there's a Number 1578, cockpit footwell lights. Traffic, 12 o'clock, 15 miles, eastbound 33 Airbus, westbound 34. Uh, but when I, when I and jet blue, uh, shut down, those reset. Seconds. So anything that you manually do uh, 48, 32, uh, would you like will Fargo Airport? reset when you uh, shut down the aircraft. That would work for us, Legion 4802. Just a little bit of turbulence as we start getting close. Legion 4802. To the Wisconsin shores of Lake Michigan. Uh, Chicago, uh, good day. Center 20 Heavy, flood level 410. Center 20 Heavy, Chicago Center, welcome in. Chicago, United 987, climbing to 230. United 987, Chicago Center, climbing to 270. Not bad. Three, two, We're getting zero. about 18 knots of push. I believe you said 330, United we'll 987. 320, 32. 320, United 987. So I tried the, the camera that's over my shoulder, which is the GoPro 10. I tried it on a different setting. I tried it on a 4K setting. Uh, from the preview that I looked at, it's still, I'm still getting black. Uh, I'll be interested to see if, if, I'm, if I'm getting flicker. Um, Close to 33. one driver told me his camera said he uses 1080p, and he uses 30 frames per second, so I set the, I've got three GoPro 9s and one GoPro 10. I set, I set those that way. Um, 32 Tango Mike, contact Minneapolis Center 132.42. 3242 for two Tango Mike, see ya. Minneapolis Center, good evening. Honda Jet 682 Tango Mike is uh, flight level 39.1, discretion down to 250, direct destination. 682 Tango Mike, Minneapolis Center. And we'll talk to Minneapolis Center all the way till we get into Harbor Springs. Airport Center, good day, France 153, climbing level 39 or 0. Airport 153, Minneapolis. Uh, but so, for position lights, um, it's all automatic, right? It knows uh, time of day. Again, it sees um, and, and knows when we hit EENT, end of evening nautical twilight, BMNT, beginning morning nautical twilight, uh, controls the, the position lights. Um, I use, I do have the, the ice light yeah, manual, well, so I do that. The other thing is, all manual. the anti-ice is automatic. Well, all of it, most of it. So let me bring up the anti-ice page here real quickly. Better jet blue so, 197, 340. Go into the aircraft yeah, blue 197, Maple. Bring up ice protection. So you can see up here, ice protection. So all of my probes and windshields, are auto, uh, they're on, and they stay on. So I have uh, three probes, uh, one for the... Uh, number one AHARs, one for the number two AHARs, and one for the standby, uh, as well as um, I've got two anti-ice probes uh, 
little probes that stick out on either side. They vibrate if they pick up ice. Uh, then they automatically turn the anti-ice on. So it'll, t it'll, it'll turn the wing anti-ice on, and the tail, we have something called the EMIDs. It's a de-ice system. Kind of the engines. I control the engines for, for anti-ice. Um, only because the, it's bleed air, and that will, that will affect uh, aircraft performance. So it's a pilot decision when to turn that on and when to turn that off. And, uh, but it's really nice to have that automatically. You'll get a ice detected light. The ice detection systems will automatically kick on. Um, I can make the decision uh, about engine. Again, just really reduces cockpit workload. And I'll show you some of the other systems that we get to monitor here. So again, aircraft systems. On the status page, shows you, uh, so you can see in magenta, those are all being controlled. So the strobe is on, beacons on, nav lights are on, taxi recognition, landing and ice lights are off. Um, I can go into my environmental systems, basically showing what our cabin temperatures and cockpit temperatures are. Uh, I can adjust those really quickly because they're set for pretty cold. I don't think I need it. We're flying into uh, chilly Harbor Springs, so I don't need it 64 degrees in here. I'll warm it up a little bit. Um, Okay, and and electrical systems 48 10, shows uh, climate two batteries, two buses, and the bus tower, uh, and all center. the different systems on the buses. Uh, fuel, left wing, right wing, and then I've got uh, two tanks in the middle. It shows when fuel pumps are on, status of each one of those, total fuel in pounds. Hydraulic systems, similar. Yep, so uh, pretty swanky. Again, all of that's managed through the uh, Garmin G3000, which is uh, awfully nice. One of the things about the cockpit, it's really clean. When most other pilots get in here, the first thing they say are, where are all your circuit breakers? And uh, they are nicely stored below the pilot and the co-pilot's uh, armrests. The armrests Flip up. Six eight two tangle mic. Pilot discretion down to two four zero. Discretion down to two four zero for two tangle mic. All right, I think we'll pick up our rate of descent a little bit. We'll do fifteen hundred feet per minute. I'll pull my speed back. We're above a pretty solid layer, but uh, we're right on the shore of uh, Lake Michigan. I'm gonna go ahead and load my landing performance data. Landing on run landing runway 28, let me pull the weather. It's uh, zero, zero, 007 at zero. So we may be landing uh, to the north. We go back and I'm going to change that to runway one zero. Ever forty eight ten. You don't happen to have an F O Olson on there, do you? Uh, negative for forty eight ten. I'm sorry. Do you have a uh, Miss Olson on board? Pull up the. Chart over here. Uh, Patrick, or crew member. Crew member. Uh, negative 4810. Oh, sorry. I thought my daughter was coming out of there uh, on a CRJ2. No, not, uh, not this one, but uh, yeah, I'll say I'd order five here. Nope, that's fine. I probably got it messed up. Center American 70, flight level 3. I'll load the Arnav approach just American to have it in there. 70, Minneapolis.
Okay, so four flight reminded me to check the AWAS. Now, one thing I know about AWAS at Harper Springs, it uh, there are it's very close to a couple of other um, airfields. It gets a lot of bleed over from other airfields. So it's uh, it is tough to pick it up, especially at this distance. But hey, we'll give it a try. American Twenty, Minneapolis Center, eight three six zero smooth. Thank Mother, you. Mason County Airport. Nope. Automated weather up. So I can see the weather here. When I click on Harbor Springs and I put waypoint information, weather, METAR decoded. Winds, uh, it's showing in the de decoded METAR, it's uh, 360 at zero. Uh, visibility 10 miles, uh, clear Apple, clouds, United, 987, temperature 15, dew point 12, so that's getting a little close. 3014 on the altimeter. Minneapolis. I'll put 3014 on the standby here. Now when we get closer, Minnie, we'll try again. Did you get Delta 2668 at 360? Delta 2668, Minneapolis. All right, did a quick battery change. Oh, yeah, United 9, uh, 53 to 36 for 370. Yeah, it's nice right here. Go for it. Nine fifty three, Minneapolis. Setting it at four. Uh, six eight two tango mic. Contact Minneapolis one three four point six. Thirty four point six for two tango mic. See ya. Minneapolis Center. Good evening. Honda Jet six eight two tango mic. Flight level two five point six. Descending two four zero. Number 682 Tango Mike, Minneapolis Center at Harbor Springs, Windsor Com, altimeter 3014. Expect a visual approach. Descent at pilot's discretion. Maintain 12,000. Okay, I've got the weather at Harbor Springs. 3014 down to 12,000 for two Tango Mike. Amplite 1571, contact Cleveland Center 126.75. 2675, Amplite 1571. Number five, number whiskey. How will this approach terminate? As I move, you'd like to take it down to minimum, so then uh, head to the VOR for a hold, and then we'll do the uh, uh, NF36, and that'll be a full stop. Number five, number whiskey. Thank you. That's why I brought the red, the clear glasses. All right, picking up the shores of Michigan. Gorgeous out tonight. Even with some of the li li limited visibility, just looking out over Lake Michigan at that sunset is incredible. November 7 at our hotel contact, Great Lakes Approach 126.45. November 5, November Whiskey, information echo just became current. Roger that, Kabulga Echo, uh, 5, November Whiskey. Employee 1305, Minneapolis Center. Amplite 1305, would you pop out? 700, climb to 14,000. Amplite 1305, Minneapolis Center, reset transponder squawk 3604. Amplite uh, 
American Flight 1305, radar contact, five miles southwest of the Austin Airport, say altitude. Flight 1305, right, we're leaving 6,500. Watch that speed. Speed tape's dynamic as we uh, start coming down lower. Getting ready to go through transition altitude, so PFD's flashing standard barrel. There we go. Over to our altimeter setting. And here we set 3014 on the standby. November 2, Tango Mike, to send a pilot's discretion, maintain 2,900. Down to 2,900 for 2, Tango Mike. All right, we're going to need to get down a little faster than this. We've got the engines back at idle. Vertical speed at 2,500 feet per minute. I can get the speed brakes out when I get ready to go below 10,000 to make sure I'm below 200 knots. Minneapolis Center, Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike request. Number two, Tango Mike, cut. Yeah, I'd like to, put, I'd like to request the uh, RNAV 10 into Harbor Springs. November two, Tango Mike, clear direct Ocpoke, cross Ocpoke at or above 3,200, cleared straight in RNAV runway 10 approach, Harbor Springs Airport. Okay, direct Ocpoke, uh, maintain 3,200 until established, clear for the approach, uh, runway uh, RNAV 10, Harbor Springs to Tango Mike. November 5, November Whiskey, radar service is terminated. Contact Traverse City Tower 124.2. Good day. Contact Tower 124.2. Have a good day. Fireman Whiskey. Victor, Coming through 10,000, getting below 200 knots. up Unicom there and listen. Okay, flaps go on the checklist. Thousand to go. Okay, ref is 108, AC is 113. I've got my minimum zinc at uh, 1,204 feet. Lake South, Timoner 3015. This approach is climbing straight ahead till to 3,500. Is that November 247, Lima Tango calling? Okay, and I was cleared for the approach. Last aircraft calling and answered, say again. November 682, Tango Mike, change to advisory frequencies approved before cancellation of IFR this frequency. Two Tango Mike, Wilco. All right, we're going to start slowing down.
It is dark out there. Number 247, Lima Tango, Minneapolis Center, descent of pilot's discretion, maintain 14,000, Green Bay, altimeter 3013. Geo reference charts sure are nice. I've got them on the uh, foreflight as well, but I don't have ads B. I have ads, I have a. Uh, I have it out. I don't have it in on this aircraft, so I don't get November as much information. November 247, Lima Tango, contact Green Bay Approach, 119.4, good day. Uh, on four flight, in the air that I normally get. I missed that. flight 1305, descent of pilot's discretion, maintain 11000. Descent of pilot's discretion, 11000. Harbor Springs traffic, 10682, Tango Mike, five miles from Okpok at uh, 3200, joining the RNAV 10. Landing uh, Harbor Springs. Minneapolis and our Cessna 195 normal was the on the way to the VOR. Vertical track. All right, vertical track's coming in. And we've got, uh, we're getting close to Akpak. Okay, it's going to turn us in. Harbor Springs traffic, Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike, Honda, uh, Akpak inbound, Arnav 10, full stop, Harbor Springs. There's the runway, gorgeous. Minneapolis Center, Honda Jet 682, Tango Mike, we can cancel IFR. November 2, Tango Mike, IFR cancellation received, Squawk BFR today. Two Tango Mike, Squawk BFR, thanks. Northern Jet 1933, descent of pilot's discretion, maintain 14,000, Green Bay altimeter 3013. Okay, below 200. Approach flaps are coming in. Transient. One dot above, gears coming down. Three green, doors are closed. Hi, Mayor Center, 195, the moose you'd like to exit the hold and get uh, vectors for the RNAV 36. November 5, remember whiskey, fly heading 180. I've got the right now because it's following a few minus steers. So it's going to take us down on the approach. But if we do miss the approach, we know what else we can go to. Uh, 1,600 for three. 975, 91, Minneapolis, Center, Ritter, contact, two miles south of the Traverse City Airport, fun Traffic, 11 to, or correction, 10 to 11 o'clock, and five miles southbound, 3,000. VFR is a Cessna 172, leaving 3,500 to clear direct Grand Rapids Airport. Right up to 8,000 out of 3,500, direct to Grand Rapids. Uh, have the traffic in sight for the Airspeed. Airspeed contracted. Flaps. Airspeed. Tier 503, Minneapolis correct. Center at Manistee, runway 10. Packing lines and duties are unserviceable. The Senate pilot's discretion maintains 3,000. Manistee altimeter 3015. November 519er, Big Rapids Airport, 12 o'clock, one zero miles. Harbor Springs traffic, kind of jet two, Tango Mike is uh, on the RNAV one zero, Harbor Springs. Big Rapids traffic, Scott, Taji Pilot Niner, 10 miles to the west, we enter the left out of runway two six eleven. Minimums. Minimums. Landing. 500. It's autopilot and yaw dam coming off. It's 
still flying ref. Back to idle. Two thousand. All right, welcome to Harbor Springs. Did you enjoy all that uh, nice fall color? Pitch black. Okay, we're heading over to our hangar. Speed brakes retracted. Flaps are coming up. Harbor Springs traffic, Honda Jet 2 Tango Mike's clear runway 10, Harbor Springs. I do love this airport. All right, trim's in the green. All right. Parking brake set, anti-ice, external power, thrust lever is coming off. Kevin signs not required, oxygen coming off. And battery, see ya. Thank you.